welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun video. It's a first impressions of the new Papagraph X Star Wars collab palette. So this is the one that launched on Instagram kind of randomly. I don't remember the day, but it launched on Instagram and I got my hands on it. And of course, it just arrived. The, this whole launch has been nothing short of a mess and I don't want to dwell on it because I have the palette whereas some people don't have the palette. I had one subscriber slash friend send me a picture of her palette and was completely shattered. I felt so bad for her and so I know there's just so many issues and it's really disheartening because I feel like Pat McGrath is like one of my favorite brands and to see it like declining slowly from what it seems like is a little bit heartbreaking. I hope they pull it together and just work on their marketing and sales strategies but this palette is adorable I did swatch it when I did this look so I'm not gonna swatch it again and I also showed it to you guys so here's a quick look at it but I did show it when I filmed this look the other thing I do want to show you guys is swatches of the decadence palette so this should be launching today as you guys are seeing this because I'm gonna attempt to edit this video the 26 and get it up for you guys uh, but here is the Decadence and I bought this when it first launched and this has eluded many Pat McGrath fans for many, many, should I say years? I don't know when this came out but here are the swatches. This was her first all shimmer palette and I've constantly heard people say how they regret not picking this up because it was limited edition and I think it was her first big palette that was limited edition and now it's coming back repackaged for the Star Wars collab and people are just like lining up to pick this up so i think this is going to be the one that sells out the quickest if i had to guess obviously i'm not an expert but that would be my guess um and i know my friend melissa gold here on youtube she actually did a project pan on this palette i haven't seen her final update but i'll try and remember to link her if she has a playlist or some videos Maybe you guys can check it out if you're curious about what she did with this palette. Oh, this duochrome shade. Do you guys see that? It's so stunning. And here are the swatches of the last, of the last um, five shades from the palette. So it's a very stunning palette. And I'm so glad it's in my, oh my God, look at my fingers. Ugh, so beautiful. I just, uh, Auntie Pat, like when she nails it, she nails it. Do I think it's a great idea that she's just re-promoting another palette? No, but I am happy that people that couldn't get their hands on it the first time around are going to be able to get their hands on it the second time around. So anyway, I'm going to get into this eye look and you guys will see swatches of the other palette and I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so I'm really excited because my CP3O palette came in. I think that's the name of this character. I actually saw Star Wars yesterday with my husband and yeah, it was really exciting. So this is an all shimmer palette and this is what it looks like, the inside. My um, new camera is hopefully kick it in with the autofocus there is a mirror on here and and this palette is a little different from her holiday palettes last year okay so here are the shades again and this says it is the galactic gold 12 on shelf life and this is kind of what the packaging looks like whereas her holiday last year had this little elastic band and it opened um like so sorry here we go I just did this like type situation and this didn't like lay flat I feel like I'll break it this was definitely my favorite holiday palette from last year it had that beautiful dual chrome shade definitely need to use it more um but yeah I thought it would be fun to do a Pat McGrath eye look today I did grab also the Decadence 4, which is re relaunching um, with the Star Wars in special packaging. So here is that palette. Again, this is one that does not get enough use in my collection because it's an all shimmer palette. But I do want to do a ranking video. I want to do some kind of 
palette series with my Pat McGrath palette. So I did grab Midnight Sun. This is Mothership 6. That came out this year and I wanted to pull some of the mattes from that palette to do an eye look for you guys today. And I'm actually filming this on Christmas Day because I kind of want to get ready, kind of want to film some things. Um, yeah, so let me just quickly, I think what I'm going to do is swatch the palette. Ooh, oh my gosh. I wasn't even thinking I should use the gold, but here are the first three shades. So we have golden, sorry, we have galactic gold, uh, bronze, and then violet void. Oh my god, that first shade is so pretty. So here's those shades. Because this is just a six band, and I have the red one come. Oh my god, do you see these duochromes right now? Holy crapola. What? <gasps> That is so pretty. So we have, oh, Corruption. That was in the red palette. Then we have Electron and Gold Standard. So there's those. And here's, I'm pretty sure Corruption was in the last palette, wasn't it? Okay, so here's all six swatches. Hopefully it's picking up the duochrome, but you can really see it on my fingers. If you look at my fingers, oh, I can't believe it. That's like seriously stunning. Let me just double check if Corruption is in this palette because I swear I remember the name. Oh, okay. There's a Corruption in this palette. Stunning. Okay, I'm gonna stop blabbering, start doing some eye stuff, and I think I'm just gonna pop a matte shade from Midnight Sun into my crease. Okay, so this brush is kind of dirty, but I don't really care. So I'm gonna go in to this shade, this guy um, from Midnight Sun. Can't remember what it's called, don't really care. And I'm just gonna throw that into the crease, just so I have like a crease shade put down. And I of course wanted to use my Pat McGrath eyeshadows today to do this look. Okay, so that I've gotten some color down. And now I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner by adding another shade. And that's going to be this like terracotta ready brown shade in Midnight Sun. I love this color. I just love how much I ended up really liking this palette because when I first got it, I was really kind of like unimpressed by the whole thing. And I was just like, this palette is so dumb. Da, 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 da. And then I took it on a little mini getaway with me and Rail, and I ended up coming back really in love with it. And now I have the Divine Rose, and I'm like, this palette sucks! <laughs> so, I don't know. Hopefully I'll come around to loving that one too, but that one is a really tough color scheme for me. I feel like it's very, mm, very boring. So, that's pretty much all I wanted to do with the matte shades. Now is the hard part to pick the lid color. I think I'm gonna go with Corruption. It's such a gorgeous, I really, really hope Corruption is not the same shade in the other palette. Um, I think, let me just swatch it. Hold on, why am I making this difficult? Oh, it is the same shade. So I must have the names switched out because this is Corruption from last year's palette. This is Corruption from the Star Wars palette. They're pretty much identical. Uh, those are those are definitely identical shades. So they they repeated those shades. I guess that's nice for people that didn't get that palette. I don't do the whole like, oh, which shade was repeated in which palette? Because honestly, I don't really know. I don't spend enough time with my Pat McGrath shadows to know that. I remember Corruption because I remember that name just because of how much I loved that shadow when I got the holiday palettes last year. So that's kind of a bummer that it was a repeat shade. I think a lot of you probably already did know that um, because a lot of people have been like complaining about Pat McGrath recently and how she like 
repackages things and not like comes isn't coming out with new shades which now I can totally understand why people feel that way because it is frustrating. Okay, I still want to use Corruption. All the other shades are pretty too. Let's just go in with Corruption. And this is like her shimmer formula, so it should just glide on. Oh, this matches my shirt so beautifully. Wow, this is such a pretty duo chrome. Like I said, I really remember loving this color last year in that palette, so... That's why I'm familiar with it, <laughs> which doesn't happen a lot when you have as much makeup as I do, let me tell you. I think I might be posting this the day after Christmas, and if I do, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. I would love to hear how you ended up spending Christmas. I personally had a fabulous day. Uh, because our plans were very laid back and low key and yeah hopefully next year my parents will be here and we'll get to celebrate with them and maybe we'll do more Sri Lankan food because god knows I love Sri Lankan food <laughs> so so much if you guys ever get to try it because I always joke saying there's like a Sri Lankan in every part of the U.S. Um, if you ever get to try Sri Lankan food, let me know. Or if you've tried Sri Lankan food, let me know. Or if you're from Sri Lanka, let me know down in the comments because I love hearing from you guys. So I don't know if my camera is going to capture the duochromeness of this shadow, but I'm going to finish up my face makeup and come back and just chat more about these palettes and tell you how I feel. Okay guys, so I'm almost done with this makeup look. I did use my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in the shade Medium 21 on my face today. I've actually been using this foundation quite a bit. I didn't hate the foundation. I was just more messed up about the launch in particular, but I do like the foundation and I have been enjoying wearing it and then on my lips is the matte trance in the shade 1995 and it's a very beautiful nude shade I am wearing it over a bunch of lip balm though so that's probably why it looks a little more glossy but I don't mind it at all my lips are so chapped the last few days because of the weather here in Fargo so I just layered up on lip balm and have been the last couple of weeks. So in my waterline is the ColourPop Red Eyeliner Pencil. And I just wanted to do my lower lash line. So I'm grabbing my favorite lower lash line brush, the M149. I need to grab more of these because they're so good. And I really want to do a contrasting lower lash line. So I'm going to hop into this purple shade here. It's got like a duochrome effect and I'm just going to pop that very close to my lower lash line and it's such a beautiful blue pink purple shade and I think it's so fun against the very intense red gold shade on top so just blending that in as best as I can and once I put mascara on I think it'll really finish things off here I really love this brush you guys if you're looking for a good brush that's like a multitasker this is so good at inner corner shades it's got like a pointed little tip to it and it's such an affordable brush I think it's like three dollars on Morphe's website I was gonna buy the making bank palette I think is what it's called after I saw Amy loves uh, makeup review on it and then I changed my mind but I was gonna add some of these brushes to my order to and I realized it was $3. I bought this in the store when I was there. I was looking for good detail brushes and I would recommend 100%. So I threw in a little bit of this purple black shade on the outer corner just to make it a little more dramatic and I really like how that looks. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna pop in this gold shade called uh, Galactic Gold. And I think that's gonna give us a nice little pop on the inner corner wowie 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 wow <laughs> so yeah that is the final look I'm gonna throw on some mascara and I will be right back okay guys so here is the final look and I am gonna try and see if I can capture that duochrome effect that is happening on my eyeballs but 
yeah, I really like this look. It's like semi-neutral, but it has that vibe because of the fun purple duochrome and then the gold and red duochrome on my lid shade. Now, does this palette capture the magic of Star Wars? I personally don't know. I did see the movie last night and I thought it was a great movie, but I don't know. I feel like the fact that there's some repeat shades in here, as or at least one repeat shade, I don't know if others are repeats, like I had mentioned while I was creating the look, I am not as well versed in all the shades as most people might be when it comes to their Pat McGrath collection. I do have a majority of her palettes, I have all her big palettes, but I don't know every shade like somebody like Kinky Sweats would, so I would definitely check out her video if she does one of these. I'm sure it's coming if she hasn't already, that girl is so on top of her Pat McGrath collection. I will leave her channel in the description box just so you have more resources when it comes to Pat McGrath. Personally, I like the palette. I'm not mad I got it. I think it's such a great memory attached now to it because I saw the movie with my husband. It's the last one. He loved it. And it's just such a fun little tie into something he loves and I love. So I love that. And then I will get the red palette. I can't remember when that, what that one is called, but that one should be getting delivered today as you guys are seeing this one. So hopefully I can get another video up for you guys soon. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this little first impressions kind of deal with the new Pat McGrath X Star Wars palette, the Rise of Skywalker. I don't even know what this is called. I'm just like blabbering stuff, but this palette, this palette right here, it's so cute and I had so much fun playing with it. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas as per usual and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Bye.